Well, the video we had up until now was corrupted. So all the work I did is gone. So I guess now I'm just going to tell you what I did and then start over or start from where I'm at. We put this on the cradle and put the cradle underneath and found it, drilled our holes and uh, we brought it back out, put it up here and we can't use this starter here so we're going to have to put on the starter generator which means basically when you push the gas pedal this starts it and then when you let go of the gas pedal it just shuts off like a normal go-kart so in order to mount it on here this the gas tank was on here and uh, we undid the gas tank I took the air cleaner off and I took the exhaust off and then this bracket here is the original bracket for uh, the starter generator and I cut this part off and uh, here it is and I set it up on here and it's it's hitting here it needs to be lifted up now these are the existing holes that was um, for one of the gas tank mounts so what I did is I took the gas tank mount that was on there and it looked like this it's kind of fun to do with one hand kind of looked like kind of looked more like this that's what it looked like I cut the two tabs off of it so I can take it I can set it on here over top of the original holes and I'll take this bracket and I set it on there and that gets me lifted up off of here now what I gotta do is I gotta take the starter generator here and I gotta hold it up here or put bolts on or whatever but I gotta hold it up here get the belt to where it's in line where the two pulleys are in line and then mark it then I gotta drill the holes here and then I'll run the bolts through that and then I'll take another piece of metal from here to there to one way or another to kind of brace it up make it stronger and then there'll be another bracket coming off of somewhere on here a bolt here whatever coming up to the top part of the starter generator which is right here that's the plan and it's and I'll get started on it as soon as my uh, camera woman was able to come out here and uh, hold the camera and well hopefully the camera works better this time right now I already cut this right now I'm just going to clean it up this is just a flap wheel it's basically sandpaper on a grinder wheel basically Stinky. <laughs> it's also warming. A little warming. So now. Well, it's still kind of. Oh, that's why it's touching. I fell off. Yeah, see, it's not touching now. So now. That's still a little toasty warm. Here, see, touch. No. This is a little hard to do, but it's pretty warm. Long side, that side. So, this is heavy. Uh, this will sit there like that. 
we got line up this with that pulley there. It's not really an easy task to do. This belt's too small. I have to get a longer belt. But I can easily use it to give you an idea. That looks pretty good. Basically, I'm doing precision eye work. I'm using my eyeball to get a precision measurement. Now, okay, now what I'm going to do is just put a mark here and a mark here. And then because that plate underneath there could have moved out of the way so nowhere to put the holes I'll put another good mark there good mark there it's more precision guesswork either let's just do it so I want these the, the holes have got to be fairly close and if they're not real on <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If they're not on, I could just make the holes bigger. I gotta get longer bolts because uh, the original bolts that was in there are, are going to be too short because this is whatever the distance this is. Well, it looks like it's only an eighth inch thick, so I guess they ain't gonna be that bad. Okay, that there. I'll take this. Match, mark, mark, match up my marks. where I put my holes. One of the best tools you can have in your shop is a Sharpie. <laughs> One of the best tools. This is not the ideal way of doing it. I have a drill press, but getting your drill press out um, just for two holes. I need to get a bench set up over there where I can keep my drill press out all the time. This is what I call pilot hole. Usually you can go with a small bit, another size bit, and then a third one, but we're going to try it. Let's see if we can get through this. Kind of a soft metal. challenge because I didn't cut this thing straight. 
which I didn't need to cut it straight, but this is my portable vise I made. many, many moons ago. I wonder if we can play the video back find out what I did that drove it. Spiders don't see eye to eye. I forgot to punch first. Punch. When you punch them first with a punch, it puts a dent in the metal where the tip of the drill bit sets in. There's no go, it'll try to make a hole and move the over out of the way where you want to be. Because it's real soft steel. It's pretty soft steel. That would have been a lot easier if I used a drill press, but then again, it would have been a lot harder to get the drill press out. Alright, now, let's see how I did. And it's going to be a video, so if I did it wrong, you get to see here's a swearing. Okay, so metal. Now this isn't going to be enough, just these two for this. Um, I have to put something off of these holes here that's going to come forward onto this so it'll miss that spring just to give it an extra bracing because these, these here could break easy. I don't know if it would or not. It, it's hard saying if it would or not. I really don't know. I'd like to think it wouldn't. belt like I said is too long so I've got to get a shorter belt for it. Looks like it's close enough. Yeah. Okay this is the original bracket off the engine, the original engine for the belt tensioner. There's an existing hole right here that's threaded. This starter generator wasn't so heavy. This probably wouldn't be this big of a deal. Okay. 
Now that's basically it. Now the thing about it is this hole doesn't seem to be in deep enough for that bolt. So I either got to cut the bolt off or find me a shorter one. Which most likely I'll cut the bolt off because me finding the shorter ones probably not going to be it. But that is basically it. Now the spring that I took off should clear. That looks like it does. So that's good. Now I just gotta measure around that with a rope or something. Or I'll take maybe take a belt, cut it to length, and then just go buy a belt that length. I got quite a bit of adjustment here for tightening of it. You put bolts to this, it spins this, which spins the motor and starts it. And then once the engine starts, it starts turning this and then it charges the battery. That's why it's called a starter generator. But that's basically how you make a bracket out of old existing brackets for a uh, put a starter generator on. This is one of many ways of doing it. But so now, when we did the, the video that didn't come out, that didn't work, is when we put this on the chassis, we bolted it down, we pushed it underneath there and see what our clearances was, what we had to do, and that video didn't work out. But we can still do it that way and put it, that's a pain in the butt. So, so we come back, we're gonna remove the body. So that should be entertaining, because I got no clue what how to do it, but we'll figure it out together. Hmm.